Yo, what's going on guys? This is Brent again and this is part two of our Passport tutorial. In the last tutorial we saw uh, how to make a sign up page uh, that's saved into a Mongo database. And in this one we're going to do our login page uh, using Passport. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and dive straight into code because I'm not going to go over a whole lot of stuff. Uh, you should watch the last tutorial if you haven't. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and open up our index.ejs file and just edit one line of code in here. It's going to be, it's going to direct us to our login page uh, with, uh, you know, some font awesome icons and stuff like that. Next up, we're going to go ahead and add our login page. So right click and new file here. We'll save it as login.ejs. And I've, uh, taken some code from scotch.io and it's basically just a login form uh, with a little EJS alert uh, to send a message you know whether or not they entered an invalid username or password we'll send that from the server if they do uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and save that okay so in our routes.js file we need to add two new routes uh, the first one is going to be a git and the second one's going to get a post to our uh, login page so let's use app.git um, and slash login. Then we'll give the function request and response. Now uh, what we're going to do is have it just render our login.ejs file. And then if there is a message for like an error or something like that, could log in. We'll say message and then request flash dot no, uh, login message. And that will be that. The next one will be app dot post um, to the login. And that will be going through Passport Authentication. So we're going to do Passport Authenticate. And then we're going to use a um, strategy. Instead of local signup, we're going to use a local uh, login. So after this, we're going to have to make a new strategy. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and finish this. Um, success, if we successfully logged in, we'll redirect. Um, to a file we'll make later called profile and a failure redirect will go ahead and redirect to the login page again and if it fails we'll need a failure flash message and it will be set to true okay so let's go ahead and save that. And those are our two um, routes that we need for right now. Actually, what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and set up our profile page. And that will be a page that you have to be authenticated to before you can access. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that the route set up for that. App.get um, slash profile. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up some middleware for anybody who goes to that uh, route. Uh, it has to go through this middleware first. So we'll say is logged in. And we'll set that up here in one second. And then uh, the function uh, request response uh, res.render profile.ejs. And then we're going to send it the object user request.user. So when we, get, when we get a user back that is authenticated, um, we'll have a rec.user variable to use. And we can send that to the profile.ejs that can print out all of our information on it. Uh, so I'll show you all that here in just a second. Um, but first, let's go ahead and make our is logged in um, uh, method. So what we're going to do down here, um, we're going to make a new function and call it is logged in, and we'll take get, it'll take request, response, and next. That's the the following uh, middleware, or it'll just it'll be the last one, either one. Um, so if 
request dot is authenticated. So if the user is already authenticated, the session has been authenticated, then we want to return uh, next. So go continue. Otherwise, um, otherwise respond dot redirect them to the uh, let's just redirect them to the uh, login page so we'll save that so next let's just go ahead and make our profile page um, so we're just gonna put some dummy text in there to test it for right now but first let's just uh, edit this it's pass passport dot authenticate not the other way go ahead and save that um, save it and then let's go to views and then we'll do a new file and control save as uh, profile dot uh, ejs we'll save that and we'll just put hello world in it now um, what we're gonna do is it should already be running uh, what's well, actually because it's an ejs file we actually have to restart on nodemon um, so yes and nodemon server dot ejs there we go now let's try to go to slash profile and we get redirected to our login page because we're not authenticated uh, slash profile and of course we're redirected to a login page okay so that's working as intended so now we need to go to our passport.js file and we're going to set up our new strategy and it's going to be our local sign-in strategy or login whatever uh, so let's do passport.use uh, local uh, login and then it's going to be a new local strategy the first things are just like uh, listed above we got to change the fields because we use email instead of username uh, so user username field um, is going to be email and then password field is going to be password and then pass request to callback is going to be true and then we'll move on to our next part which is our function and the function requires three things a request an email a password and done which is our callback so if everything comes back uh, uh, we're looking for an email password and done from the clients for our login uh, so request email password and callback so um, we're gonna do the same deal as we did above with our process next tick uh, for asynchronous uh, so it can do it uh, after data comes back process dot next tick function and then this is where we'll put everything so we're gonna look in our uh, mongo database using mongoose uh, by using user dot find one and we're looking for uh, a local username a local local dot username and where that equals the email and then uh, the next parameter is our function to see if we found anybody error and user and so if there's an error We want to return done with the error. If there is not a user, we want to return null, which means there uh, there's no error, but it's a failed uh, attempt at logging in. Um, so that's going to be false. It's not. Uh, there's no user found. And then request dot flash. Uh, and then we'll do login message and that will be no user found Let's see, is that correct yeah okay and actually this needs to be done 
don't know what I was doing there. Done. We're returning the function to the callback. Um, okay, so next we need to have um, check to see if the password is correct. So if uh, user uh, dot password uh, does not equal password, then we'll return done. Null, no error, but it's a not a good login. And request dot flash login message is equal to invalid invalid password. Okay, so we got all of our catch twenty twos taken care of. So finally, uh, we can just return done, and then null, no error, and our user. So that should be uh, that should be it. The only problem we do have is that it was user dot local dot password, not just user dot password. Uh, so let's go ahead and check to see what's going on. Uh, let's do a local sign up first. We'll go ahead and go through the whole process. Uh, at, let's just do admin at gmail.com is our email and abc123 and sign up. Great, it takes us here. Uh, so let's do a local login uh, to see what's going on. Uh, let's do testing uh, something gmail.com and some random password. There was no user found. Okay, so now let's do admin at gmail.com and some random password. An invalid password, of course, I've misspelled. I misspell everything. So now let's do admin at gmail.com and uh, abc123. And of course, now we get access to our private uh, login page, um, profile page. Okay, we just got a couple more things to do for uh, this part of the tutorial. Um, what we're going to do is make a, a log out route uh, so we can log out. Um, and we'll go to our routes.js. Let's do an app.get. I've already started it here. Um, and then we'll do function request response. And then we're going to do rec.logout. Uh, and that is a, a passport uh, function that or it adds to uh, Express. Passport adds the logout to Express. And then uh, request response.redirect to, uh, let's just redirect them back to the uh, home page. So that'll be that. Now in um, our views, let's just uh, make our profile a little nicer. I've already copied from scotch.io like a profile page. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. Um, all it is is a normal, a normal HTML page, except it uses our uh, EJS to include the user dot ID, the user local username, and the user local password. And if you remember right, uh, if we go back to routes, um, when anytime they go to the profile page, we're sending them the user, okay? And the use, rec dot user is populated when we're going through our passport JS uh, login, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and save all of that uh, profile. I think that's what it was. And go ahead and try to log in. Uh, and type in a dummy password again, invalid password. Add or actually, let's try to go to profile right now. And of course, we can't go to profile right now. So now we can do admin Gmail, abc123, and we get to go to our profile page. Now the profile page has uh, our ID that it's saved in the database. Um, it has our email and it has our password. Again, this is, is not how we're going to end this. We're going to end up encrypting all of our passwords before we ever put them in the database, uh, but we're not quite there yet. So uh, now we're at profile. Now we can log out. We get redirected back to our home page. Let's see if we can get to our profile again. And we can't. We're required to log in. 
So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll probably talk about encrypting our passwords before we put them into the database, and then we're going to move on to Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter logins and stuff like that. So stick with me, and if you got any questions or comments, post them below. And of course, uh, if you think I'm doing something wrong, uh, other than the password thing, uh, go ahead and uh, make some suggestions below. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you next time.